Hello and welcome to African Transportation Converse. My name is Jonas Ayi and uh, I want to introduce you to this channel. This is African Transportation Converse and we are here to keep you informed, educated and uh, to build a community that would be a force in pushing our leaders to realize the dream of Africa. Uh, as you may know, the most talked about African Continental Free Trade Agreement is about to get started uh, next year and most countries are preparing themselves, industries are finding strategies in which they can um, move into other countries in Africa and also discussions on how um, the revenue losses of certain countries can be mitigated. So as a whole a gamut of discussions going on. This channel is going to concentrate on transportation because I believe that transportation is the arteries, it is the lifeblood of this whole conversation. Without transportation, the goods cannot move. So we're going to look at all the various aspects of um, transportation, all the various boats, sea, road, rail, air, and so on. But today, um, in this episode, we're basically looking at the African highways, the trans-African highways. And these are highways that um, have been planned in such a way that um, all parts of Africa can be connected easily by road. So if you look at this slide in front of you, you would see, um, for instance, number one road from Cairo all the way to Dakar along the coast on the Mediterranean and then to the Atlantic Ocean and then terminating in Dakar. This road is met by road number seven, the trans Ecowas Highway, starting from Lagos through Benin, Togo, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and all these other countries all the way to Dakar. So Dakar becomes a focal point. And there's a third road that links Dakar through the northern part of West Africa, all the way to N'Djamena in, um, <coughs> sorry, Niger. And then from Niger, it connects all the way to the east coast of Africa, so Djibouti in the Indian Ocean. And then you have roads that traverse from north to south. And these are the Tripoli Cape Town Road and then Cairo Cape Town. And then we have one more as traverses from west to east, that is, um, or east to west, Biera Lobito. So you can see that all parts of Africa are connected with these kinds of roads. Uh, we left out Algeria to Lagos also. But we're going to go through them one by one, and then we can um, actually see which countries and which parts of the road have been made and which ones have not been made uh, good. Um, I must say that um, <clears throat> it's a good plan. We only wish to encourage all African leaders, all countries to complete the parts or portions of the road that or sections of the road that passes through their countries so that we can have um, some smooth transition from country to country. We know there are border issues and so on in many of these countries, but that's an issue to be discussed later as well. So we can start right now with road number one. So road number one starts all the way from Cairo along the Mediterranean through Libya uh, to Tunisia, Tunis, Algiers, Rabat in Morocco, Rabat in Morocco, and then goes through Western Sahara, uh, Mauritania, and then to Dakar. And this road, I think, is probably the best road of all, or one of the best, because some are paved throughout. But all the road in the northern sector of the continent have been paved. So North African countries are doing really well. Paved the roads all the way to Dakar. Um, if you are listening and you've experienced, you have an experience on these roads and the how and border crossing and all that, you can let us know in a comment session. You'll be pleased 
to have you update us on what's happening on the ground. Road number two is um, Algiers, Lagos. Algiers in Algeria, traversing Niger into Nigeria. And once again, Algeria has made good. The road is paved all the way from Algiers to the border with Niger. And then we have an unpaved portion. Um, portions in Niger. Nigeria has also made good and um, the road is perfectly paved throughout. So those in Nigeria, Niger in Algeria, if you happen to chance on this video, let us know in the comment section um, if what's on the ground is reflected here on the map. Road number three is from Tripoli in Libya going through Chad and then move southwards all the way to Cape Town. Portions in Libya paved and certain portions not paved. Chad unfortunately hasn't paved any of its routes and then it enters Cameroon where um, I think majority of it is paved. Then some parts goes through Central African Republic which is not paved. Congo, partly paved. Um, Angola, most part of it paved. In some portions, not paved. And then Namibia, paved throughout. And then South Africa. So, looks like I'm beginning to see a trend. The North African countries doing really great with paved in all the roads. And then Southern part of Africa also doing great with paved roads. Road number four is from Cairo to Cape Town. <clears throat> Sorry. And once again, Egypt is made good, paved throughout. And then at the border with Sudan, we find unpaved sessions. Um, then in Addis Ababa and in Ethiopia as well, unpaved sessions. But majority of the road is paved in these two countries. Kenya has almost half of it not paved. Uh, same as um, Tanzania. Um, Zambia looks paved throughout. Zimbabwe looks paved throughout. Then to Botswana and to South Africa, all paved. So South African countries, Southern, Southern African countries, showing great progress there. Kudos to you. Um, road number five starts from Dakar, from the west moving towards the east. So it terminates right in the middle of the continent, somewhere in the middle, in, in Jamaica, Chad. So road is paved all the way from Senegal, all the way through Burkina, which, I mean, small portion, not paved. Um, and then through Niger, it's paved throughout, through Nigeria, it's paved, the northern part of Nigeria, Kanu, paved all the way to the border with um, Chad. So that's great. That's a good road also, paved throughout. And good to see that it's in the middle belt where most of the unpaved roads are. But gladly enough, Burkina just has a little portion that is unpaved, but it's mostly paved. Good news. Road number six, that's from Njamena, where road number five terminates and then goes all the way to the east coast, Djibouti, on the Indian Ocean. So, Chad, uh, quite disappointing because none of the roads that traverses through Chad has been paved. So, road number six is not paved in Chad. In Sudan, it's partly paved. Um, and then through Ethiopia, also not paved. So, this road is really kind of non-existent. Um, the major portions that are paved are found in Sudan, but the other countries, Chad and Ethiopia, haven't made good. Um, Djibouti, I think, is paved from the looks of the picture. 7th Road is the trans Ecoas Highway, coastal highway, starting from Lagos and terminating in Dakar. Um, and this passes through a lot of cities, I can imagine, coastal cities. So it's paved all the way from Lagos through to Benin. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening in Togo because um, 
the cycle indicating the capital city kind of takes <laughs> takes uh, the, the whole space togo is a very small country um in ghana some parts are really not good not in good good shape and but majority of it is paved and then it goes to Cote d'Ivoire, also in good shape till um, somewhere close to the border of Liberia, which is not paved. In Liberia, I've had quite an experience there and I worked on a project on this road, the feasibility studies for uh, certain portions of this road in Liberia. And I was part of the team, so I know this road really well. I hope by now the road is built. Um, it's been two years or three after the feasibility studies. So if you're in Liberia and you know these roads from Logato to town, uh, the northern part of Liberia, let us know if the road has been built. I recently saw news that um, from Maryland to the border with Ivory Coast has been done. And that's great news because I worked on that road as well. Um, so from Monrovia uh, through to Sierra Leone, good road to the border we have portions of it not in good shape um, in Sierra Leone as well major portions paved and some part not paved same in Guinea in Guinea-Bissau um, Senegal all paved Senegal I, I think needs to be to be to be congratulated for they've done a good job with this road all the three roads terminating in Senegal uh, almost completely paved um, I don't know what's happening in Gambia if you're in I think it should probably be one of the major roads in Gambia so it should be paved but if you're in Gambia tell us what's happening on the ground if this road is in good shape um, last but one road number eight traverses Lagos to Mombasa to coastal cities to port cities um and the west coast and the, the atlantic and then the indian ocean so lagos all the way to the border in cameroon completely paved that's great and then in cameroon we have a um, small portion not paved in central african republic also has uh, almost half of it not paved then we enter dr congo where almost all the road is not paved uganda great 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 uganda's roads are uh, really good roads that connect capital cities are really good and i have seen that experience in uh, uganda so kudos to uganda and then to kenya perfect paved all the way to mombasa so i think this is an important road that picks goods all the way from mombasa and distribute to uganda which is a landlord country um Road number nine is um, Lobito Biera. So Lobito also in the Atlantic Ocean and then Biera in the Indian Ocean. Lobito is in Angola and uh, greater portions of the road, road is paved. When it's then half of it is not. Uh, no, yeah. Half paved, half not paved. In DR Congo, also half paved, half not paved. Then Zambia great all the two roads that passes through Gambia, zambia sorry are well paved and then in zimbabwe it's also paved throughout and then to, to mozambique Piera. So it looks like the southern part of africa are really good with building and maintaining roads and probably trading good among themselves so this is all the roads um that make up the Trans-African Highway. And we will take them one by one in subsequent episodes and then look critically at um, the developments on these roads. They are very important for the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. They are key to the movement of the goods. They are key to free movement of people and the goods as well. They are key to developing certain portions of the continent. Villages along the roads are indeed economic drivers. We cannot understate that. So we will take them one by one and with your help, I think we can find out what is exact, exactly happening on the ground. 
So if you're in any of these countries mentioned, just check which road passes through your countries. And if you are one who uses any of these roads or have an experience in traversing it or crossing borders on it, let us know the condition of the road. Let us know um, if there are congestion on the road in certain portions in the cities. Let us know uh, how easy or difficult it is to cross borders uh, between countries on these roads. And then let's have a discussion. Thank you so much for joining this episode. The African Transportation Congress will continue. Subscribe, like the videos, and share. Let's grow the community. And let's have uh, our leaders pushed to make this a success. Thank you. Bye-bye.